Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we're going to be doing a modular engine, but without an ECU. That's right, no ECU. So let's go ahead and jump in, let's get this thing built, and then I'll show you what we're talking about. Alright, let's run over to the workbench here, let's get started. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves, uh, let's get some modular engine stuff. Go ahead and type in modular. Uh, I think for this example, let's just go ahead and let's build a small modular engine. Uh, when I say small, I don't mean like super small, I just mean using these smaller crankshafts and cylinder heads here. Uh, so what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we can do, just do like that. Let's get ourselves some cylinders here. And let's go ahead and put mirror mode on. Uh, that will make things a little bit easier. There we go. And let's make a, uh, you know what? Let's make a big boy here. We will do all sides of this. So now we have a, what? Six, 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 and six. A 24 cylinder engine. Uh, we are going to be making some power here. Uh, we want to get these manifolds. Uh, let's go ahead and connect some of these engines up here like that we'll just do it on the second row here i think that should be okay uh because i think we're going to save room back here for our exhaust and maybe fuel connections uh we'll see how it goes uh up front we're going to need a belt drive let's go ahead and throw a starter on there let's go ahead and get ourselves an alternator we're going to charge up our little battery here there we go alternator goes like that uh let's do our coolant next uh that's usually harder to do so i want to do Let's take that off. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this first row here, actually. Uh, and this should allow me to put this in sideways like that. Uh, and then what we can do is we can just come back and we can put the, the extra crankshaft back here along with cylinder heads. Now we've got all of them back, just like this. There we go, perfect. All right, so now we've got our 24 cylinders back. Now we've got the ability to run fluid through here. We're gonna need a pump. Uh, so let's see, we got the modular engine pump. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so that'll fit in there like that nicely. We can get coolant A coming out and coolant in. Okay, perfect. So let's go to pipes. Uh, we're just gonna wanna bend this down and then bend this in like so. Whoops, there like that. And then this can flip like that. And we can do the same thing kind of here. And then we'll just go with a straight pipe. Boom, there we go. Now the radiator can fit on front. So let's go to radiators. There we go, boom, radiator. Uh, Where, you know what? I think right here, uh, we can put our battery. We'll just shove that in like right there. That's perfect. Right next to all that tucked away. Uh, okay, so we've got our radiator. Uh, we don't have, let's come back here and get our clutch. Let's go back to our modular engine stuff. There is our clutch. I think then we can come out and we can do an exhaust pipe like here. That works. So let's go to exhaust X host. There we go. Actually, let's get a catalytic converter on this first. I'm gonna stick that there and we'll go catalytic converter. This will keep the smoke down. We have an exhaust system here. Okay, perfect. So we've got coolant, we've got exhaust. Now let's get air and fuel into this. So let's go air. Actually, let's go back to modular engine parts. That'd be easier to find it that way probably. And there it is, air is on the first one. I think I'm just gonna stick air like right there. And then I think what we'll do is we'll put fuel back here in the back like this. So fuel can run straight back. Air can be right there. I'd like it if air was more centered though. We'd have to lose another section of crankshafts and then move them back to be able to do that. Or, or we put air right here. Come on, any any moment now you can flip around. There we go, there we go. You know what, that works. Air, let's go air, let's get an air filter on this. Boop. We know that's air, we know this is fuel, and this is our RPS. So let's go back to pipes. Let's go ahead and we'll make it orange for RPS so you guys can see it. Some of you said you like it when I colored the pipes, it made it easier to understand. So there we go, we'll do that. Let's come up here and we'll paint our coolant, not orange, but we'll paint it blue so you guys can understand what all parts of the coolant are. There we go, coolant, okay. Air is air, so here's what we'll do. We'll, uh, I'll get rid of this and then I'll make these yellow. So then we can do air and then all that's left is gonna be fuel. So let's go to red. We're gonna pipe out the back here and then we can just go get our tanks. Tank, tank, tanks. We got a fluid tank on here. We'll stick that like that. And now because of the new updates, we need a gas relief valve because of pressure. As it starts to suck gas out of the system, it starts to create a vacuum in here. So we gotta be able to get this out. So then we need fluid, 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 fluid. Oh, it's hard to see. There it is, okay. Get the little fluid port here. So now as it sucks gas and creates a vacuum, it'll be able to suck air in and create a non-vacuum state for this. All right. So now that we've done that, let's go in and let's just make this thing look a lot prettier. We can do it with a bunch of these guys. We don't need these, but these will just kind of clean the engine up a little bit. There we go. Same thing on the bottom here. There we go. And now our engine is done. Let's give this thing a throttle and a key. Throttle. 
And it might actually not need a key. I think it's going to have to have a push button. So we'll do a push button instead. Uh, how does this look? That is up. So we'll go push. Push button. We'll stick that right there. Okay, perfect. All right, that's that. And now, uh, instead of an ECU, we're just going to use a function block for this. So we're going to get a function block. And we're just going to stick that right there like that. We're going to go into our function block. And we're just going to do X times 0.5. And what this is actually going to do is this is going to divide by point five technically uh but with what we're doing so let's go ahead and let's connect this up real quick let's go ahead and put our starter to our starter we need our throttle all right so our throttle goes to the air is that air goes to the air and the function block and then the function block goes to the fuel so what it's doing it's dividing the amount of fuel that goes in by half compared to the air uh so you should be able to get that better ratio uh what else needs to be connected up here clutch pressure for that uh we can hook that uh let's see what do we want to do for that uh we'll get a constant number and a constant on so we'll do a constant number and a constant on the constant on is going to come to our fans and the constant number is going to go to our clutch and our other clutch okay so i thought that was fuel okay so we got to come back here and we'll connect that up to fuel all right that should be good right there what's not connected okay we're good all right everything should be connected up let's put this on a stand so it doesn't go plunk when it hits the ground here and then we can check this thing out. Oh, that is not even even. All right, spawned it in. Ooh, okay, it had a long way to drop, but it's, it's good. It's good to go here. All right, so let's go and crank this thing up. I didn't give it power. I gave it a battery and did not give it power. Let's do that, and let's try again. All right, are we cranked? Give it a little throttle, full throttle. All right, what did I miss? What What is not connected? I mean, I guess we could put a prop on the back of this. So we could actually see it moving. Uh, and that would give us some indication of what's going on there. Uh, but everything else seems to be fine. Um, we can do a constant number to that clutch as well. All right, maybe let's add another starter to this thing. Let's see if that does it, which in this case, I don't have any room because our battery is in the way. So let's move the battery. Paste that right there. Merge it. Okay, can't merge it yet. Let's, uh, let's grab ourselves another starter. All right, so we got another, another starter in there. Let's see if we can add a block there to merge this battery. There we go, perfect. Let's hook up the starter to the other button and let's give it power. Let's give this a go. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Something with the fuel. Uh, it's It works with infinite fuel on. Uh, the tank is not working for some reason. Interesting. All right, so let's go back to our here, let's, our number. We do need to put a one on that. That should engage that clutch right there. I'm not sure what's going on here with the fuel though. Fuel, it has fuel in it. Uh, we are connected up to our fuel. Did I do this right? X times... 0.5, that should be right. Oh, okay. Nope, infinite fuel was still on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this? That is a fuel port, mod, air. Okay, okay, I had the wrong part there. Let's see if that fixes it. Hopefully that fixes it. Oh, the engine weight drops, I can't stand that. Let's put a little bit more, uh, a little more stabilization there and let's bring it down. Okay, cool. Sideways for some reason. All right, so we'll throttle this up. There we go. There we go. It is cranked up. Okay, so let's come down on some speed. Holy crap. So yeah, there you go. We have a modular engine that is running uh, without an ECU. Now, it is not going to be as efficient as an ECU uh, would be. Uh, that's going to be measuring your fuel-air ratio constantly. Uh, all we're doing here is basically just dividing our fuel in half. Uh, for what the air is and it is giving us the numbers that kind of what we need uh, we are getting that 13.9 out of it which is really nice uh, but again I, I highly stress using an ecu it will make your engines run a lot better and a lot smoother under certain performance conditions but if you guys are just trying to get an engine running this is what you need to do you just need to throw on a little division block here or a little multiplication block here dividing the air and the fuel together and then yeah then you can get an engine running uh it's super simple so you will have that as you increase you're increasing more uh rps this way man we're getting some speed out of it 58 rps on this but yeah that uh engine should be blowing up any any moment now so let's go ahead and turn this back down i just wanted to show you guys a quick little tutorial on this and how to do this and all you really need is a function block to get a modular engine running i know i always show uh building an engine with the ecus because they do run so much better with an ecu but again if you guys are just looking to build an engine want to get it running and see if it works here's how you do it all right but that's it for today guys uh if you are enjoying these tutorials make sure you throw a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and yeah guys uh we will see you in the next one crank it up yeah there you go cool We'll see you guys later.